کی عزت نہیں کرتا وہ مسلمانے نہیں ہے یہ تو اسلام کا کام تھا کہ بوڑھوں کا کرنا چاہے وہ اپنا ہو مسلم ہو نان مسلم ہو عیسائی ہو یہودی ہو بوڑھا ہے کہ ہم سب پر لازم ہے کہ ہم اس کی مدد کریں اس کی ہیلپ کریں اور ان کی ہیلپ کرنا اللہ تعالیٰ کے دین کی مدد کرنی ہوتی ہے یہ اتنے بڑے کام چلا رہے ہیں اس پر مجھے بار بار ایک اردو کا شعر یاد آ رہا ہے اس کا بتایا گیا کہ اور ایک چمن میں پھول کا کھلنا تو کوئی بات نہیں گارچر میں پھول کھلتے رہتے ہیں باغ میں پھول کھلتے رہتے ہیں چمن میں پھول کا کھلنا تو کوئی بات نہیں زہر و پھول جو گلشن بنائے سہر آتا امران زہی اور ان کے تینوں برادران کو اللہ نے کرم کر کے صلاحیت دیا ہے زہن دیا ہے ور کر ہیں کام کرتے ہیں اور خدمت کر رہے ہیں ایسے لوگوں کو اللہ مل کرتا ہے کہ انہوں نے آ کر کٹکون کو آ کر ایک گلشتہ بنا دیا ہے اور زیادہ بنا دیا ہے روشنی بنا دیا ہے کہ میں اپنے دینہ دوست اور مہربان خریفہ قاسم اشروی اللہ کو سلام رکھے یہ کٹکون کے میرے قرآن محکوم سے یہی ہیں اور آج تک میرے لئے دعا بھی کرتے ہیں اور میرے لئے مدد بھی کرتے ہیں اور میری عزت و حدمت بھی کرتے ہیں یہ جانتے ہیں کہ پہلے کیا تھا اور آج کیا ہے کہ یہی پر عالم بھر رہے ہیں اور یہ جا کر دوسرے ملکوں میں کام بھی کر رہے ہیں مجھے ایک وقت جانتا رہا ہے عزیزم سید عبران انگلیس سام میں گئے لندن میں گئے وہاں پر انہوں نے کئی درکشن کیے گئے تھے بست ایک بہت پری مسجد ہے اور بہت اس کا بڑا سسٹم ہے پھر وہ وہاں لیکچر کیا اس وقت چھوٹے دے داری بھی دینے نہیں آئی تھی مگر ایک علم کا نور تھا کہ اس مسجد والوں نے تہہ کر لیا کہ ران سید کو ہم نے اپنا خطیب رکھنا ہے ایک بڑا بڑا مسجد ان کا ہی میں نہیں رہنا تو وہاں کے پاؤنڈ وہاں کا سرمایہ ولا کی طرفہ مگر امران سید نے دل کہیں اور لگا تھا ان لوگوں نے میرے مواقع ہے مجھ سے سوال کیا آپ امران کو کہہ تو یہ ہم رہا تھا میں نے دیکھا بڑی مسجد ہے اور پاؤنڈ بھی لگے سلط افریقہ میں اتنی طرح نہیں ہے عزت سے کام کریں گے تو میں نے بڑھایا امران کا امران سے بھی بیٹا یہ لوگ چاہتے ہیں کہتے ہیں استاد جی یہاں دین کا کام نہیں ہو سکتا میں سو طبیعہ کا میں جا کر دین کا کام کرتا یہاں بڑے علماء ہیں بڑے کاری ہیں بڑے مفتی ہیں پاکستان انڈیا کے چوٹی کے لوگ پیان گلستان میں جمع ہو گئے ہیں وہ باپ پر اکٹھے ہو گئے دیکھتے ہیں میں یہاں ہی کام کروں ہوں اور کام بھی کرتے ہیں پھر پریٹوریا میں نہیں کیا ڈرنر نے کیا کہاں اللہ نے لکھا تھا کپ ٹاؤن میں جاؤ وہ کپ ٹاؤن میں پہلے اسلام آیا تھا تو جاؤ وہاں تر کپ ٹاؤن میں جا کر علم دین کی شاپ سے آپ کو پتا ہے کپ ٹاؤن کو اجاز ہے کہ کلمہ تیب پڑھنے والے صوفی کپ ٹاؤن میں آئے اور کپ ٹاؤن سے آ کر پورے سب دفریقہ میں پھیل گئے اللہ تعالیٰ ان کو کام کرانے کا یہ توفیق کا پاس ہے میں آپ سے اپیل کرتا ہوں آپ دعا کریں کہ اللہ تعالیٰ ان کو ریاض سے بچا یہ جب کام کریں کہ لا حول ولا قوتا اللہ 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 سے اتنے بچے کامیاب ہو گئے دیکھیں آپ کی فیکٹری لگاتا ہے کہ جب اس کی پیداوار ہوتی ہے اور پرٹس ہوتی ہے بات جاتی ہے خوش ہوتا ہے اور بات لگاتا ہے بات لگتا ہے خوش ہوتا ہے آج میں سکتا ہوں عمران سید عرون سید تدوان نور امان اور سارے خوش ہیں کہ ہم نے جو باغ لگایا تھا اس باغ سے پھول بھی لگے ہیں پھل بھی لگے ہیں اور فیکٹی سے مار بھی ہمارے طرف آ رہا ہے اللہ ان کے لئے مبارک بات کرے بڑا سبرکت لیکن 
ये सारे काम सिर्फ इलम से नहीं बनते दौलत से बनते इल और माल जब दोनों मिलते हैं तो वहां पर कामयाबी होती मैंने इनसे पूछा भाई कैप्टून में तुम्हारा रिश्तेदार कोई कैसा गुजरा कहा कि कुछ साल तो बड़े मुश्किल गुजारे इम्तिहान में रहे लेकिन इस तकामत की कि अल्लाह का दीन है और उसका हुक्म है इन तम सल्लाफर को तुम दीन की खिदमत करोगे अल्लाह तुम्हें कामयाबी देगा अल्लाह तुम्हारी मदद कर मैं सफर किया है आज अलहमदीन पूरा कट्टोन इमरान से सब मदद कर रहा है हेल्प कर रहे हैं आपका हल करना आपके पास माल है आपके पास डॉलर है आपका पाउंड है आप पास रैन है आप रैन खर्च करें ये भाई इलम खर्च करें ताकि यहाँ पर हर तरफ ही इजाफा हो जाए आज जलसा मुझे को बता रहा था ये तकसीम असमान का जलसा बड़ा अजीब है एक तरफ रबी रबर से और दूसरा रबी सामि से एक तरफ इमाम अम्बिया का जिक्र महीना और दूसरा उनके लाभ पैसे ये दोनों का नूर मिलकर और गौसे आजम रजी अल्लाह तुम को रखता शेख उल्शा फर्दुल अफराद हजर सैद शेख अब्दुल कादर जी नामी और हसनी और हुसैनी वो क्या कहते हैं मैं कैसे गौस बना तो मैं दस्तुलम मैंने नबी का दीन पढ़ा और दीन पर मैं मुझे कुछ भी वक्त वक्त बना दिया इन आपके इज्जत तो अफजाई करता है मैं नौ बहनों का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ कि तोज्जो से बात सुन रही हैं चाहे बहुत से खातन को मेरी बात नहीं समझ आ रही लेकिन समझती हैं कि बात अच्छी हो रही है बात हमारे महबूब की हो रही है बात हमारे दिल की हो रही है जब महबूब का जिक्र होता है मैं एक बात सुनाता चाहता हूँ रसूल से ये तर्जमा कर दे आप काम आएगा एक नंबर रसूल आपकी बेचमाशा उनकी तो मुमकिन नहीं कि उनकी तारीफ कर सके उनमें से एक छोटी सी झलक नबी पाकर इस्लाम सफर में थे और आपका सफर जहाज का तबलीग का होता था एक जगह डेरा फरमाते कैंप अजीब थे एक बिलच का आदमी देहाती पेराबी और वो आ गया और अभी आया उसने पूछा कि कौन लोग हैं उन्होंने कहा कि ये मुसलमान है कहने लगे कि एक आदमी की बहुत इज्जत कर रहे ये कौन है कहने लगा ये मोहम्मद है जो कहता वो मोहम्मद तो कहते मैं अल्लाह के रसूल सुन तो रखा था लोगों से उनका हाँ हुई वो आ गया आपके पास आगे कहता है या मोहम्मद हो बेमा आ गए तो अन्ना का नबी जन आए मोहम्मद मुझे बताओ मैं कैसे समझू तुम अल्लाह के नबी अब नबी राम हर आदमी से पहले मन्ना कबूल हैं और से बात करते जितनी उनके अकल में है उन्हें आपने उनके सामने पुराने पाल की आयत नहीं पढ़ी अल्लाह ताला की तोहिद के मनाजर में बयान की है इसके समझ आता फरमाया वो जहाँ थे वहाँ खजूर थी और उसके साथ खुल में खजूरें लगी हुई थी आप हमारा इन दौड़ो हाजर इज का मैं हाजर नख लाते यशरअली रसूल ये खजूर के साथ जो खजूरें लगी हैं मैं इनको बुलाऊं ये कहा मैं तोड़ू नहीं कहा मैं बुलाऊं मैं कहा आ जाओ मैं बुलाऊं और वो मेरे पास आकर मेरे तो कलमा पढ़ ले मान लेगा कहने का क्यों नहीं बुलाऊंगा नबी दसम ने खजूर का अंजल और फ्रूट को कहा उतरा हुक्म दिया हाथ नहीं लगाया आज किसकी जुबान से काम चलता है अंजल हजीज बताए जहाँ जहाँ यंग जिलों में नख रखे 
उतर रहा था आहिस्ता 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 मटक मटक कर चल चल कर आया और जब सरकार के कदमों में गिर गई मैं उलमा के नाम की नजर करता हूं यह अजीब बात है कि तुम कह तो गिरा नहीं भाई वो जहाला जन जिलो जहाला जब वो तो कहते आस्ता आस्ता सुनो नहीं सुनो नहीं आस्ता आस्ता मटक मटक कर आया आगे साकर आए वो बात ऐसे है आप बुजुर्ग आए ना तो अदब से खड़े रहते हो ये रुकू करीब आए तो बर्दाश्त भी कर सकते कि वो मर जाते खजूर तो वजन ही है और भारी चीज ऊपर से नीचे आती है वेट वाली चीज ऊपर से नीचे आ जाती है हवा चली होगी पत्ता कमजोर हो गया गिर गई थी ये कल ये लगा दे इला मकान का ए गुच्छे जहां आया था वही चला जा जहां से आया वही चला जा वही जाकर गए गए जाकर कहने का अशोक अन्ना मोहम्मद उसने कलमा पर ईमान लाया और वो काफी भी सरकार में कदम पड़ गया कदम ले आए हम खुश नसीब हैं हमें अल्लाह ने वो नबी दिया जिसका सारे पूरी कायनात पे कंट्रोल था उनकी एक झलक बताई कि किस तरह आर्डर किया किस तरह वो दर्द आया इससे ये चला वो तो बेजान था वो तो बेरूह था वो तो मुर्दा था हम जिंदा हैं और जानदार हैं कि कलमा पड़ते हैं हमें भी चाहिए कि नबी पाक की पैरवी करें इतारत करें और फिर सार आगे रोशन अभ्यास का दिन आ रहा है और ये ग्यारहवीं दिलाएं मैं ग्यारहवीं के मुतल बात करता हूँ ग्यारहवीं सिर्फ खाना खिलाने का नाम है आप सूरत फातह पढ़कर ये कह दें अल्लाह जब मैं सूरत फातह की तलावत किया इसे तू कबूल करो और मेरी तरफ से शेख अब्दुल कादिर जीलानी को साफ पहुँचा दें ये भी ग्यारहवीं और क्या नहीं खाना खिलाना और खास तौर पर मेहमान बहुत करते हैं लेकिन मैं मेहमानों को कहता हूं ये खाना अगर आप किसी गरीब को खिलाएं पेड़ को खिलाएं यतीम को खिलाएं तो सरकारी गौसा ज्यादा खुश होगी और उनको कहना कह कबूल कर और फिर इससे आगे जो हम गा बने गौसे आजम की औलाद का कोई बच्चा और यतीम हो गौ से आजम की औलाद का को बच्चा गरीब हो गौ से आजम की औलाद की औरत बेवा हो गौ से आजम की औलाद की को बच्ची शादी होनी है उसका जहेज नहीं है उसका निकाह रुका हुआ है अगर उनको कपड़े दे दोगे उसकी शादी के जा कर गौ से आजम तुम्हें जन्नत में ले कर हम सिर्फ हाथ अंगूठे चुने से आजम की औलाद से प्यार भी करें अदब भी करें और उनकी खिदमत भी करें तो आखिर में ये कहता हूँ आपको मुबारकबाद देते हो मैं अपील करता हूँ कि हमारा अजीज है और अल्लाह ने बड़ी सलाहें दी हैं और कैप्टन को और कैप्टन ये लोगों के सर का टैम बनेगा ये अल्लाह इसको मुसलमानों के सरों को कैद बने और कामयाबी अदा फरमाए और इसका वामिक फरमाए और आपका काम है मदद करने औरतों को भी काम है इन कामों में जब ये काम करो ऐसी जगह लगाओ जहाँ पर ज्यादा फायदा हर बिजनेस में वहां पर तुम लगाते हो पैसा जहाँ से नफा ज्यादा आता हो और जब दीन पर लगाओगे उसका ज्यादा फायदा होगा और दिए पर लगाने का नफन आता है इन तन सुन कुन अगर तुम अल्लाह की मदद करोगे ये अल्लाह के दिन की मदद करोगे 
یعنی سرکم اللہ تعالیٰ تمہاری مدد کرے گا اور سب پر اقدام کم تمہارے پاس اکمر کرے گا آپ انہوں کی عزت کے لیے بیٹھے یہ دعا ہے اللہ آپ کی عزتوں خاص پر مو بینوں کی عفت اور عزت میں عزت فرمائے وہ آخر دعوانا الحمدللہ رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله We are at the end of our program His Eminence Ustazi wa Ustazi wa Adama Qibla bi Sayyid Hasin al-Din Shazal has given words of wisdom but he begins by saying I know most of you don't understand Urdu but I am very grateful to you that you have listened with such beautiful manners. And I know the reason is not because I am speaking to you, but because you know what I am speaking to you must be something good in the dhikr of Allah and the dhikr of the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So alhamdulillah, a brief synopsis, there is no way we can be able to translate or what our Ustad has mentioned. We are in the month of Shahin Shah Al-Qasir Azam and it is the reality that on one occasion the son of Huzur Al-Qasir Azam stood in front of the whole congregation and he lectured for one full hour and he saw there is no effect. And Huzur Al-Qasir Azam went and he only stood for few moments. Few moments meaning few minutes. And already people started passing away and falling and there was, people were in a state of hal. He said, but for so long I am lecturing, no effect. It is not just the words that you say. It is from who he say. That is the karam of Allah. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give our murshid long life and good health. May he continue to be our guide. And Alhamdulillah, Abdullah Shah Sab doesn't like anyone speaking about himself. He doesn't like self-praise. But I'm going to try. I can recall when I was very young and I had opportunity one day to recite in front of my chef. And I recited Manqabat that was written by Hazrat Allama Mufti Luqman Visan from the UK who is also very close to Qibla Ustaji. And while I am reading it, I was busy shaking because I don't know which time I am going to get shouting. And the entire Manqabat was in praise of our chef. He immediately stopped us and said, this is not, we don't have functions to praise ourselves. Praise Allah and praise Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, alhamdulillah, Qibla Shasa mentions when he began, when he says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ That you cannot want anything except that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you. Nothing you can want. And then Qibla Shazza mentioned, Alhamdulillah, there is so much of good and Alhamdulillah, congratulations to each and every one of these participants and one of these students that have graduated and to you. And Qibla Ustaji mentioned and he says, but let it not come to the brain that we are somebody. Hum kuch hai. We we somebody. Because of us it is happening. You are just the teaspoon that is letting the honey to flow. When you are not there, someone else will be there. This is not just because of your power. Hada min fadli rabbi. This is from the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. I can remember his Eminence, Hazrat Allama Peer Sayyid Ghulam Muhyuddin Shah Sahib Rahmatullah Bari Ustaji He would always mention and he would say This is not because of you This is the effect of the dua of the Asatiza This is the effect of the dua of those behind you And therefore a share comes to mind 
اگر کچھ مرتبہ چاہیے تو کر خدمت فقیروں کی اگر کچھ مرتبہ چاہیے تو کر خدمت فقیروں کی قضا کو تال دیتے ہیں دعا روشن زمیروں کی and this is the reality that Kabla Ustaji mentioned Alhamdulillah few things as well that we doing and Ziyan Ulum in Cape Town, CTIC, Old Age Home and various other activities you know of the activities but today only I can say I was very happy today I was very happy that in these two days I was able to be with my Murshid who is the mentor of thousands and even millions and how did we spend our time? We were able to go to the poor. We were able to go to the old. We were able to go to Muslim. We were able to go to non-Muslim. We were able to have a fundraiser for Jamia Rasbiya Ziyaululu. We were able in that fundraiser to witness one man coming forward and saying, I want to be Muslim. We were able to be amongst those who our Murshid named him Muhammad Karim. We were able to celebrate Allahu Akbar. Yes. We were able to celebrate the Mawlud of Rasulullah in various homes. Qul Sharif and Dua was recited. We were able to go to the Maqbara in Johnson Road Maqbara. We were able to pass the Sufi Darbar on the road. We were able to go to these places all in just a matter of less than 40 hours. 40 hours. This is how personalities of this nature spends their time. I was speaking to Qibla Ustaji and I told him, Shazam, uh, someone asked this. Is, Don't tell me. You decide, whatever you decide, I'm going to follow. For these two days, I don't want to make the decision. You, you decide. We have little power. And then we want to decide. Imagine a personality who's in charge of over 5,000 Dara Ulums under Tanzim al Madaris. Now I believe it's close to 10,000. He's the head of this entire center. Can you imagine thousands of students in each Jamia? Hundreds of thousands of students. And still he says, I'm nobody. I don't want to be in charge of anything. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us this type of ability. I want to, in conclusion, mention one hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu that Qibla Shasa mentioned and said, I will do it, shall the translation. Before that, Qibla uh, Ustaji mentioned His Eminence, Huzur Khalifa Burhanpur, Hazrat Khalifa Qasim Ashrafi, is this personality that Hazrat says, leave alone today, Cape Town is so beautiful. I am saying to you about Cape Town when it was in those years, very far back, then from amongst those friends I have, one is Hazrat Khalifa Qasim Ashraf. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give Hazrat long life and good health. And we must say proudly at CTIEC at Ziaululum Cape Town, that there is not one day that we went to Khalifa Qasim Ashrafi and asked for something we never received. Up till today, tonight, at his son's house is program Gyarbi Sharif. Khalifa Zab as well as his family is sitting here at CTIC. He may be family members sometimes don't come. How old he is, how weak he can be at times. He just comes sometimes, he lands from some place. He will attend our program and he will stand there. And he will show me that he is there in our program. It is for this reason, my Ustad and the student of his eminence, Qibla, Ustadi, Ustadi wa Ustadul Ulama, Peer Mufti Muhammad Akbar Hazati Sahib, he mentioned to me when I came on 20th of May in 2011, he said, Shaji, if you want success, hold the hand of Khalifa Qasim Ashraf. And Alhamdulillah, Khalifa will tell you from that day, I always repeat the sentence annually to make myself remember. You nobody, this is the person that is making you what you are. We make dua Allah keeps Hazrat for many years, insha'Allah. The hadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, listen attentively. Qibla Shah Zab says we are so fortunate that we spent the few moments of this graduation ceremony in the month of Rabi ul Awwal. And we are concluding it in the month of Rabi ul Akhir. It is the karam of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
and the Sadna of Huzur Shahrishah Ghosul Wara that through his Sadna Huzur Ghosul Azam through this Baraka the Noor will continue to flow. Alhamdulillah the Blashasa mentioned the Hadith in conclusion that once Rasulullah Sallallahu was on a journey and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi would go on a journey for jihad or for education etc. And the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi was traveling and a villager came to the Habib Sallallahu Alaihi And he saw the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi sitting and few Sahaba were sitting with the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi And this villager asked, hey, who is that? So they mentioned to him, that is the man Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is the man that claims to be the Prophet of Allah? Yes, he is so and so and so that I hear about. Yes, the village, you know, village people, sometimes they have their own style. Sometimes I say in the city of Cape Town, we act like villages. But anyway, that's another topic on its own. So this villager, he comes forward. And when he comes forward, he asks, can you tell me what can you do and action that I will understand that you are powerful and you are the prophet of Allah? So Qibla al Saji mentioned, he never then go and say, go and write something. Go and do something out of the ordinary. Because Rasulullah sallallahu will speak to everyone upon their uqul, upon their understanding. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, okay, listen. There's one tree there, fruit bearing tree. It has kajur, dates. So it has tamar. Now, should I say to those dates, that they must come to me and they must give you shahada of who I am. So for a man who is a villager, who is always busy with cattle and fruits and harvesting, can you imagine when someone talks from here and all of a sudden the fruits is going to come down and they are going to start talking, what will happen? So that man, he became amazed. He was out of his mind. He said, yes, yes. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions, Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Anzim. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Qibla al-Ustaji mentioned for the students and the ulama, when it comes to Arabic, when there's ja'ala in front, it means that it is not just coming down one shot. It is coming down one by one, slowly, 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 slowly. And when this is coming down, <coughs> it is coming by the feet of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qibla al-Shazab says, I'm not saying, maybe you have a different understanding. But my heart says to me that even like how an old man is standing, 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 after that he can't stand anymore. Like that, this kajur came, was waiting, waiting, couldn't wait when it can also come by the feet of Rasulullah. And Qibla Ustaji then mentions in this hadith, perhaps, he says, maybe, he's not saying Rasulullah, he says, perhaps. The thought maybe came, the figure came in the Hadith Rasul. People will say that the kajur was heavy. So because it was heavy, when something is heavy, what happens? It falls. So no, Nabi Rasulullah never asked it to move. Maybe it just fell down because it was heavy. So Rasulullah Sallallahu said to the kajur, Irji' ila makanika. Oh, you gates, leave alone coming down. Now I'm asking you, you must start jumping up and go back to the place from where you came. It is mentioned that every single date from after coming from the bottom, went, rolled back, jumped up, went back and got stuck onto its place. This is the hadith of Rasulullah SAW, not a fairy tale. Hadith of the Nabi SAW. And then it is said that that village even, he understood what is the beauty of Islam. He accepted on the hand of Rasulullah Sallallahu He accepted Shahada and he became Muslim. He recited the Kalima La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi in conclusion mentioned that they had to go through such strugglings to become Muslim. You are already Muslim. This is the ni'mah of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala upon us. More than that, we are ummati of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In conclusion, Qibla Ustaji mentions that Alhamdulillah it is Yarvi Sharif tonight. I have to say something about Yarvi Sharif. Yarvi Sharif means for those that don't know, uh, for those that don't celebrate Yarvi or are not away, Yarvi Sharif, Yarvi first in Arabic comes from the term of 11, Yara, the number 11. On the 11th of Rabi'ul Akhir, 
was the Wisal of Shahri Shahi Sheikh Sayyid Abdul Qadir Al Jilani. So to be remembered. However, Qibla Ustaji mentioned yesterday in the program as well, that we don't mean must be on the level. Whenever you can have, you can decide one date and your family must recite Gyarvi Sharif. Gyarvi don't mean you need to pay, you need to cook five days of food. No. Gyarvi Sharif means you must recite little Quran. And when you recite Quran, you recite Surah Fatiha and you give that as a means of Rahmah, it will be accepted in the court of Allah on behalf through the wasila of Sheikh Sayyid Abdul Qadir Al Jilani Muhammadin. So it is important that we understand what is Gyarvi Sharif. Kabla Shasa mentioned you must try with your family every month to have Gyarvi Sharif. It is a means of Rahmah and a means of Barakah. And we must be amongst those, Kabla Shasa say, instead of giving money just to any person, he's not saying exactly where you must give your money. And Kabla Shasa said some of the work we're doing, but he says if you give your money to a Sayyid, if you give your money to a family member of Huzur Ghosi Azam, if you give your money to a yadim of the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then indeed know very much, not only will your gyarvi be accepted, not only will your recital be accepted, but indeed Ghosi Azam will take you into Jannah. Through these type of actions, don't waste your money in something that you can't find returns. Qibla Shah Sahib concluded by saying, everyone likes to get a return in the dunya. But if you have to spend on a student of deen, you get a return in the dunya, in the qabr, and in your akhirah. So this is the appeal of His Eminence. Wherever you can help, and he concludes by saying the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps those who help the deen of Allah. Whosoever helps in the deen of Allah, Allah will help them. And Wallahi Al-Azim, this is the reality. We are nobody. We are nobody. It is whatever we have, it is through their sadaqah. Ka te hai tere dar ka, to pi te hai tere dar ka. Paani hai tera paani, dana hai tera dana. Otherwise, we are nobody. It is with these words, I want to conclude the message of his eminence ustazi wa ustaz ulama qibla bi sayyid hasim din shah sahab also we want to say inshallah we request his eminence hazrat allama bi sayyid habibul haq shah sahab to whisper in our ustaz ears translation inshallah because our urdu is very bad and so for that reason we're going to say it in english because in front of all these urdu speaking people i don't have guts so I want to tell you that Alhamdulillah from the bottom of our heart I know it was difficult Qibla Ustaji missed many days due to visa being late but Qibla Ustaji still gave us the same two days irrespective of what was the circumstances we still received the pleasure of His Eminence. No, Allah Azim, no words can say shukran for this for we made dua May Allah constantly grant His Eminence long life and good health. We don't know when this opportunity will be there again. For this reason, we ask and we appeal to each and every one of you, allow this giant to live for as many years so that it can be beneficial for he lives his life according to that sunnah of the Nabi Sallallahu that if man cannot benefit the next man, he is useless. This is the life legacy of our Ustad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant success, insha'Allah. For on behalf of the entire entourage of ulama and galaxy of ulama, we say shukran, jazakallahu khair to each and every one of you. For the learners, insha'Allah, we are going to just request this one item before salatu salam. Every student of CTIAZ to come down these stairs where we'll be putting medals. We ask the various teachers of CTIC to assist 
in making sure everyone has a medal, inshallah, and you will be standing here, and thereafter we will have salatu salam, dua al khair. On the conclusion of the dua, parents, when you take your learners, you will go to CTIAC, and inshallah, receive their reports, sign out by Bashir, and then good luck to you.